Up first at 5 tonight, a bustling area of Concord is poised to get some upgrades. The City of Concord is doing a study on how to improve the corridor of Concord Mills and Bruton Smith Boulevards. Queen City News anchor Robin Kennedy is live along Concord Mills Boulevard. So Robin, part of this plan includes helping people get around faster and easier, right? That's right. That's the idea, Morgan and Alicia. You know, we're not far from this speedway, but the track is the only place you can go fast around here. Usually that's because you're stuck in traffic, but there's a new plan now to bypass the boulevard. There's more to the Concord Mills area than just the mall itself, but getting down Bruton Smith Boulevard, which becomes Concord Mills Boulevard, can take a while in traffic. We heard from a number of people that, you know, they may live next to a restaurant they love, but they can't walk to it because they're not connected. They have to kind of get in their car and drive all the way around the block things like that, and we think we could work to, to improve that. The city of Concord hired a consultant for what's known as the Boulevard Study to get with businesses and people living in the Concord Mills corridor to find out what improvements can be made. A consultant said at a recent city council meeting that they got 250 responses in the study, and one of the items that topped the list was a connector bridge. If you're over on the Concord Mills Mall side, part of the plan includes building a bridge from that side on Quay Road over I-85 that would connect to Old Holland Road on the Great Wolf Lodge side by the Charlotte Motor Speedway. The, the business community and the locals kind of organically identified this as something that they would like to see to have another way to get from one side of 85 to the other without having to go through the existing interchange. Other improvements possibly include adding more walking paths and splitting up the public transit service in the area with one route going to the Ryder Transit Center and a separate route moving up and down Concord Mills Boulevard. The consultant said one of the ways to pay for all of this would be through what's called a municipal services district. That would include a new property tax in the Concord Mills Boulevard area that would raise funds and the money from that would have to go back back into improving the corridor. Now, if you want to take a look at that new plan or if you just want to share your thoughts on it, there's a public hearing. It's coming up on March 26th. That'll be a public meeting and we have all the details on that on our website. It's QCNews.com and just check under the links tab. I'm live in Concord. Robin Kennedy, Queen City News.